Welcome back for another 10 Talk. I'm happy to be here with you. And this week we're going to focus on continuing to look at the Ignatian spirituality. And this time we're going to dive into St. Ignatius's examine. But let's start with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we thank you for bringing us together today. And we ask you to help us to enlighten our mind and continue to grow in your, our love for you as we continue on that journey toward eternal life and the sanctity that you have in mind for each one of us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, when I think of an examine, oftentimes the idea that comes to me is a preparation for confession, right? As I prepare many of the kids at the school, or as I do my own examination and go to my weekly confession, I think about the need to, to see where I've fallen, and also what can I do better. But St. Ignatius goes a little deeper, and he's help me throughout my vocation to continue to go deeper in the desire for holiness in our lives. And he has a five-step process that helps us to understand where we're at in our personal daily life, slowing down life, taking it a little bit at a time, and helps us to recognize God's presence throughout all of this. It's not just a make a list of my sins and then bring them before the priest so that I can be forgiven. There's more to it. It's a personal interior conversion that is going to bring us to greater holiness and make us live not so much out of the fear of what we might be uh, punished with in, et in eternity, rather than I want to love God so much that I want to change the way that I'm doing things and live out of love for God. Everything that I do can be a gift of love if I live in that way. And so the first step, and again, I'm taking this from the Catholic Catalog, the book that I mentioned a couple weeks ago, and it is uh, talking about praying with St. Ignatius and specifically about the examine. The first step, the first step to Ignatius' examine is to become aware of God's presence, right? Notice God in your life. How is he present to me right now? Living with him throughout your day is a very important part of growing in holiness. And it says here, be still and know that God is present. Ask for the grace of God's help to review your day, to direct your attention where it will be most useful. So right away, already entering into the presence of God. Sometimes when we start our prayer, we just dive right into whatever we think is most important. But what about taking a step back and saying, okay, Lord, first, I want you to be a part of this. I want you to be present as I start this journey of uh, being more like you, making my heart more like yours. The second step, to express gratitude. Give thanks to God for all the gifts that he has given to you. Right? Not jumping right into, oh, what did I do wrong today? Starting with, thank you, Lord. Thank you for the gift of my life. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my talents, my treasures in life. Thank you for being a part of my day. Thank you for the sunrise in the morning, and thank you for the difficulties that have taught me lessons throughout my day. Gratitude. Gratitude puts us in the right path. It already starts in a positive way, right? We're not starting off with a negative, but rather with a positive. We want to enter into prayer wanting to come back to prayer. And if we do that in a positive way, we're going to want to come back and do this again because we know that it not only does it do good for our soul, it also makes us feel the presence of God more, more closely. Third, third point of the examine is to review your day. So now we're getting into, okay, what did I do today? What, how did I live my day? Was I aware of what I was doing? Was I intentional about the things that I did today? Or did I just kind of drift through the day unconsciously? You know, sometimes I think about driving to work in the morning and did I even remember all the decisions I made, the turns that I took uh, getting here? Do I remember what happened on the way? And I just end up at, at work, right, at the school, ready to go for another day. And Ignatius is inviting us, okay, take that, go back in your memory and play it like a movie as you go through your day and just watch yourself from an objective, in an objective way from the outside. See yourself as you go through your day. What did I do today? And then you're looking as well to see where I may have been able to love more, right? This is where we're reviewing not so much just what did I do against the law of God, but how could I have loved God and I didn't today, right? What were the ways that I, maybe I jumped to a conclusion or said something without thinking that I should have reflected a little more on? That's what St. Ignatius wants us to reflect on in this. Pay attention to your emotions, he says, 
When we reflect on the times we did or did not act with God's grace, we can be more sensitive to developing better habits. We can become aware of our need for God. That's a nice thing about a, the examination is that we're looking for our need for God. When we recognize our sinfulness and our inability to do what is right all the time, we recognize more and more our need for God. Like St. Paul said, when I am weak, then I am strong. When I don't have all the, the gifts and talents that I need or the grace that I need, I recognize that I need to ask that from God. I need to ask him to help me. The fourth fourth point in the examine is to repent, to express sorrow. Tell the Lord, I'm sorry for these fallings and shortcomings. I don't want to do those again. And ask him to be with you the next time that you encounter those same difficulties because we know that they're going to come again. Difficulties will come our way again. Someone's going to make us lose our patience again. We're going to be tired. We're going to be in a bad mood. And we're going to react. But we can choose to ask him for the grace to help us to react in a positive way next time. And the fifth point, number five, resolve to cooperate with God's grace and guidance. Look forward to tomorrow. Ask God to help you to put your hope and your trust in him. And these are the ways that are, it's going to make it possible to change, to convert, to become the man or woman that God is calling you to be. And that's what Ignatius is really inviting us to, is, is to take a step in the right direction, to move towards the grace of God. So through the examine, you start to realize that I can change tomorrow, right? I can move in the right direction. I can give a better effort tomorrow. And that's the grace that we want to ask God for as we are doing this examine, to make a step in the right direction, choosing him above all else, and doing it with a humility in your heart that is going to give you the grace to love more and more as you go forward in your day. I'd like to finish with a, a prayer that is written by St. Ignatius, and it's, uh, it's called the Sushipe, and it's a prayer that is offering God everything. And maybe it's a prayer that you want to use as you do your own personal examine. It goes like this. Take, Lord, and receive all my liberty, my memory, my understanding, and my entire will. All I have and call my own, you have given it to me, to you, Lord, I return it. Everything is yours. Do with it what you will. Give me only your love and your grace. This is enough for me. Thank you for joining me, and I hope that as you continue your week, you will reflect a little bit on this examine. Maybe do it in the car on your way to work, or do it at night as you finish your day, looking to make the next moment of your day even better than the first. God bless you, and have a wonderful week. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.